The QI Macros Control Chart Wizard makes it easy to choose control charts. While there are many different kinds of control charts, people sometimes struggle to figure out what chart to choose. That's why I created the Control Chart Wizard. It's right above the control charts here. To use it, simply select your data with a mouse, click on the Control Chart Wizard, the wizard will look at this data and go, oh, a single column of decimal data. The only chart that really responds to that is the X moving range or individuals and moving range chart. It'll draw the range chart and prompt you for titles. And then it'll draw the X chart and prompt you for titles as well. This is different from every other type of software out there. Everybody else asks you to pick the chart first and then pick the data. But because we asked you to select the data first, we can help you make this choice. Otherwise, you're stuck navigating a very complex decision tree. If you have two columns of data here, and in this case it's discrepancies or defects over a certain sample size, and select that with your mouse, and click on the control chart wizard, it's going to ask you, can there be more than one defect per unit? If you say yes, you get a U chart, and if you say no, you get a P chart. So it's going to ask you if there can be more than one per unit. In this case, the answer is no. And it'll take that data and go out and do all the calculations to create a P chart. And again, it will prompt you for titles. If you have two or more columns of decimal data, and select that with the, the QI macros, and click Control Chart Wizard, it'll look at that data and go multiple columns, decimal data, it has to be an x-bar r chart. If you go to six samples, it will be an x-bar s chart. And again, it will prompt you for titles on the x and the r chart, and draw your chart for you. So again, it's very easy to select data with the mouse, click on the control chart wizard, and get the right chart the first time.